Hello friends, I am Sahil from Sarafada.com and today we can see how to install WordPress manually in your cPanel through cPanel. So first we can go into WordPress.org and download the source. Download WordPress 4.1 is the latest release and now in the cPanel login in the cPanel I am already logged in go into file manager so in the file manager you have to upload I am creating a one folder here so test one two three is my folder if you are directly installing WordPress in the main domain so you don't need or don't want to create any folder and show here you show you here how to install it now upload your source of WordPress just choose the file from here select your file and upload it in cPanel let's take a time once it's uploaded once it's uploading after that just refresh your cPanel or reload it from here now you can see here it's taking a time now you can see our WordPress is uploaded and now after reload here we can see our WordPress so now extract it so it will ask you where to upload and I am extract it here okay now one thing remember here it's uploaded in a WordPress so we have to move all files in main domain so we can select it from select all and move file and just give the path where you want to move so I am moving in a test one two three here you can see step by step all files are disappeared now here is all files and now we can go into cPanel and creating database so database is important for mysql give the database name here i am giving the test one two three next you can see test one two three again give any name here I am giving the password is one two three four five six do not give the easy password uh, here I am using for testing purpose so I am giving the one two three four five six write your database name and database username somewhere because it will helpful to you it's needed to add in WordPress configuration file now you have to give the no need to save the password for me all privileges next step So we give the all permissions 
to spider any underscore test one two three user to database now we can click on a home and going into mysql database mysql databases and from there we can give the permission to same username and databases to each other we can add it now from here what we can do we can find our database test123 and user and database and add it here when we add it will ask us for make a changes yes and updating privileges successful now we can go into wordpress and here is the wp config file we can rename it and remove the samples and wpconfig.php edit the file now in edit give the database name username and password so you have to remember what you are give the password and save it now we can go into test you have to remember your directory test 123 and enter now here you can see you can install in a multiple language so right now I am selecting English United States and continue this is the new feature in uh, WordPress site title server father username admin password 123 and 123 your email address server father at gmail.com and install WordPress it's a very easy installation Now here you can see installation is a finish and we can log in in it. Admin and 123 is our password. You can see our installation, fresh new installation from here server father nothing is found just uh, another wordpress site so thanks for watching this video if you have any kind of problems questions just comment it below the video thanks a lot